expect is that sometimes you feel a little bit lethargic during this quarantine or you've trained hard the day before and you don't really feel like doing a strenuous activity, a strenuous kind of exercise. I totally get it, but I would like you to think about Pilates not as just an exercise activity, but also as some kind of health activity, of well-being activity. So you don't have to always train really, really hard to get some results and for your workout to be effective. So today I prepare what is like a morning routine, a morning mobility mat work exercise for you. And I would like you to incorporate this kind of Pilates activity, so including and incorporating Pilates activity in your daily practice. Uh, whatever you feel like that day, Pilates comes and meets you. So please, don't just lie down on your couch doing nothing, because that when you feel lethargic, that when movement can really help you to be more productive and to feel better in your body. So the less you do, the less you feel like doing it. Instead, if you start with very small steps in your day, I'm sure you will feel way better after the workout. So let's get into it. We're gonna start lying down supine in a very gentle practice, okay? So lie down on your back. Relax your arms, you can close your eyes if you want, and we're gonna start by breathing. Breath in Pilates is fundamental, and I feel that with this virus, it's very important to breathe deeply. Joseph Pilates used to say that breathing should be like a shower. So fresh oxygen coming in, and then shrinking our lungs out of all the cells, of all the part itself, of all oxygen. So we start breathing deeply. And you can also keep the hands on the bottom of the ribcage or on the side of your body and really feel your ribcage expanding to the side, back and front when you're breathing. Inhale. all the air out of the lungs. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale all the air out. your legs, bring your arms up to the ceiling, palms facing each other, shoulders away from the ears, we move the arms into scissor, one arm goes up, one arm goes down, center, switch, inhale, center, exhale, switch, Return to the center, we move the arms into circles, wide up overhead and around. Inhale, exhale, make it slow. Try to increase the range of motion as you go, as you warm up the muscles, as you awaken the joints. Reverse the circles. And the only thing I want you to think about here is the rib cage. I don't want you to lift the spine from the mat as we circle the arms, moreover, as we go up overhead. So try to reach as far as you can overhead, keeping the shoulders down, keeping the ribs in. One more circle. And now keep the arms overhead, interlace the fingers. Palm of your hands facing above you and really stretch the arms long. And you can also tilt side to side with your spine to add a little lateral flexion. 
neck following the movement. And then back at the center. We bring the right knee up to the chest and we hug the knee closer to the chest. If this position is not comfortable for you, feel free to flex the bottom leg. I want you to keep weight on the center of your sacrum. Try to really lengthen your spine here until the very table. So flex the knee or keep the legs extended if you want to have more stretch, but keep your tail down. There's a small, small space under your low back, so the pelvis is neutral here. With the right knee to the chest and the right ankle, we start drawing circle all around. And keep breathing, keep pulling the chest to you. Reverse the circles. Return at the center, grab the leg, the same leg, behind the knee. And now with the help of the arms, start to raise your hip joint. So imagine to have a pencil on top of your knee, you want to draw a circle from the knee, all around. Bring the knee out, down and up. Out to the side, across the body and up. And reverse the circles. The movement is happening inside your hip joint. And return to the center. Now you can stick with this exercise if you feel enough work for you, or we can go a little bit further. Hands on the floor, pressing strong to stabilize the spine. Opposite leg, digging the heel down into the mat. We extend this leg to the ceiling straight. Keep down and away from you. One leg circle across the body. Stretch and reach. My shoulders are down. Circle around and up. Over the body, out and up. Over the body, down and up. And try to stabilize the pelvis. Feel that like your abdominals are working to stabilize the hips. Reverse the circle. Out. Stretch out. Over the body and over. Down and around. Down and around. Two more. And return at the center. Bend the knee again towards you. Pull the knee closer to you. Now, if your knee was flat, please extend the bottom leg to We twist the spine. So bring your right knee across the body and over to the opposite side. Press your knee on the floor. Think about the right side of the ribcage twisting down towards the ground on the right side. So there is this opposition between the knee and the ribcage. If you want to have more stretch, look back and extend the right arm so that you also feel the front of your chest and the shoulder stretching. Otherwise, you can keep the hand on the hip if that's not for you. Keep breathing. Think about bringing the right knee to the floor the right shoulder to the floor as well. And return. Extend the right leg or flex the knee as you feel most comfortable. We go on the right side. Extend, flex the knee. Lower the, rib, the hip down. Circles of the ankles. Reverse, keep breathing. Relax the ankle, hands behind the knee. We draw circles with the knee and the hip. And raise your hip joint. Reverse the circles. Stick with this version or add some extra challenge by doing the one leg circle. Hands and arms pressing down. Stretch across the body, down and up. 
across the body, down and up, stabilize your pelvis. Two more. Last one. Reverse the circles. In, out. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Bring the knee to you. Across the body now. Spine twist. Extend the opposite arm. Eyes back. Hello. <laughs> left knee on the floor. Think about the left side of the ribcage twisting down towards the ground. not following the order but these are three exercises that are all about breathing and breathing is so important after sleeping or after a good session of workout after a good session of workout okay we're gonna start with a hundred okay for this variation I will keep my legs down my arms up to the ceiling activate your inner thighs pull the shoulders down inhale prepare Exhale, up and over. The weight of my head is resting and is supported by my abdominals. Arms reaching long, eyes lighting up. Squeeze the legs together. We start breathing. In, two, three, four, five. X, two, three, four, ten. Keep breathing. In. Twenty. Thirty. 40, 50, 60, 70, keep pumping the arms vigorously, 80, 90, hold the last one, inhale deeply, Exhale down. Arms overhead. Keep the ribs in. Now bring the knees to you. In front your pelvis. Hands at the ankle pad. Round your spine and think about bringing the nose to the knees. Here, the nose is coming to the knees not just because I'm really pulling my neck forward but from the fact that I'm rounding my spine, lifting my chest, and I'm resting on the tip of my shoulder blades, okay? Eyes are towards my toes. This is the double leg stretch. So apart from the choreography, really use this position, this shape, to pull the knees towards you vigorously with the arms, actually with the mid back, and really squeeze all the air out of your lungs. So with this exercise, we inhale when we reach, expand your ribcage, exhale, circle the arms, and squeeze the air out. Inhale. Reach. Stay up. Two more. One more. And rest your neck. Keep hugging the knees to the chest. Rock to the left and rock to the right. Massage your low back. You can also stretch the neck. Twisting the head side to side. Keep breathing. Now keep hugging the knees towards you. Round your spine. And like, uh, like in, a, in a bowl shape, in a head shape, start rolling back and forth. 
my legs are pulling my arms so that I can feel a nice stretch on my spine, on my knee back. One more. Come up. Extend the legs. Mat distance apart or slightly wider. We go for the spine stretch forward. Okay, this is another exercise about breathing. Sit nice and tall on top of your sit bones. Pelvis is vertical. You can keep the arms in front of you or on the floor as you prefer, as you feel more uh, most comfortable at your petrols. I will keep my hands in front of me. Here, inhale deeply, grow taller. Exhale, round forward. Return. So we have three pulses to exhale and increase the stretch of the spine. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, round up and over. Make sure you're not collapsing. Okay? So imagine you have a big beach ball um, against your body and stretch and stretch and stretch return so it's not a bouncing movement it's kind of lift and round lift and round more lift and round more okay so it's always reaching further let's go again shoulders down up to the ceiling. You can keep the arms wide open by the side in a V shape or the hands under the sacrum. Not the low back, just the sacrum, just your pelvis. Here we move the legs. One goes down and away, one comes up. We open the hips. Try not to let your hip bone spot, okay? So keep all the knees length into your waist on both sides and switch. One leg comes to the chest, one opens to the floor, don't touch the floor. Switch. Inhale, when you switch, exhale when you reach. Switch. 
Make sure you have enough space around you. And switch. One seesaw, two seesaw, and switch right open, circling the leg. Seesaw one, seesaw two, and circle. Feel the low abdominals working. And switch, switch, circle. Two more. Switch, switch, circle. Last one, switch, switch, and circle around. Stay up. Lift your chest, ground the ankle, not the knee, just up higher, lift your chest. Seesawing the legs, we pull two times. Pull, pull, switch. Reach the legs apart, exhale, exhale, inhale. Pull, pull, and stretch, 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 stretch. Stay up. Three, two, one. Return. Knees come to you. Roll up. Very good. Now on all four. Back mobility. Hands under your shoulders. Knees under your hips. I want you to bring the right hand inside your body and twist the spine so that the right shoulder comes under the left hand here. The tendency is to bring the hips on the left side. Please bring the hips back. The spine stays on the midline. So all position between the spine twisting, the upper back twisting and the low back. And the supporting arm is pressing on the floor vigorously. But if you want, you can also open the arms to the ceiling and feel your mid back, your upper back rotating. Left hand on the floor. Come back in four point knee. We change to the other side. So I'm gonna show the front feet. Bring the left shoulder down on the mat under the right hand. Don't let your hips and your pelvis twist to the right side. Keep the rotation happening at the upper back. And you can keep the right hand on the floor or open the arm to the ceiling, eyes to the ceiling. And return at the center on all four again. Arm, now we're going to an arm and a hip extension, like in a superman shape. Keep your belly up against gravity. Keep pressing away from your wrist so that your shoulder blades are up and away from each other. Reach one arm and the opposite leg long into opposite direction and return. Keep the movements small. Don't end in your low back. Make sure you're still pressing into your supporting knee, into your supporting arm. Don't let the spine and the belly collapse against gravity. Exhale, reach. Inhale in. Exhale, reach long. Inhale, return. Four more. Shoulders down. Three more. Two. And one. And return. And now for the last one, make sure you have enough space around you. We add something more. Same side position on all four. Superman shape, reach the arm and the leg out into long opposite direction. And now open them out to the side, the arm and the leg. Return long at the center and bring the leg and the arm in. Reach long. Open out. The spine stays on the midline. You're still pressing away on your supporting arm. Return long and in. 
Okay, from the front view, it's gonna be reach, open, squeeze the glute, keep the shoulders down, keep pressing away from the ground. Center, in, long, out, squeeze the glute, pull the belly in. Center, in, two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, in, and out again, in, S, in, and we're going to a child pose, rest the spine. Last one for the spinal extension. Lie down on your stomach. Forehead and nose down. Arms by the side. Palm of the hands facing you. Tail under. Pubic bone pressing on the mat. Ribs lifting. Navel lifting to the spine. Inhale. Slide the arms along the body to lift your chest from the floor. Keep your bottom ribs. Keep the eyes on the floor. Just. 30 centimeters in front of you and lower down with control. Inhale, open your chest, lift it up, sternum reaching forward and lower. Don't, don't shorten your spine here. It's not the head coming to the tail, it's the head reaching forward. Top of the head lengthening away from the toes, shoulders down, return. And two more, lift, belly in all the time. Fingers reaching to the toes, lower. Inhale, up, belly in, lift your navel from the spine, from the mat. Exhale, lower. Now stick with this one if this one is challenging already. Otherwise, we flex the elbows and we bring the arms by the side, in line with our face like a kind of a cactus position. Here, we lift the arms, the head, and the spine all together. Keep your shoulders down. Squeeze your shoulder blades at the back. Exhale lower. We're gonna stay a little bit lower on this version. Up, belly in, shoulders down. And in, lift up. Lengthen to the top of your head. Eyes on the floor in front of you. Down. Up. Feel your knee back working. Support this nice extension. One last one. Hold. Extend your arms by the side like we were doing before. And then lower down, child pose. Round your spine, grab your heels. And then stretch your spine. You can extend your arms by pulling your heels away and feel your back opening a little more. Expansion happening in your, your ribcage. 
lungs inflating with fresh oxygen and bring it all the toxin out of the lungs again inhale overhead, dorsiflex your heels and slowly peel your spine off one vertebra at a time and return. We stand up. Okay, here. Bring your toes apart and your heels together. We relax the shoulders by rolling the shoulders up and back. Up and back. And back. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Last one. I like to have arm circles here. So keep the ribs down. Keep your spine rolling up to the ceiling. Circle the arms up and around. Feel the arms connecting at the mid back. Deep movement of air here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Reach through the top of your head. Lengthen your neck. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the arms up to the ceiling. Shoulders now. Squeeze your heels together, lift the heels up, lower the heels down, keep reaching through the fingertips and the head, up, down, up, keep squeezing your heels together, belly in, one long line with the body, up, down, and up, and down, two more, up, and down. And up and down. Thank you very much for this nice flow. I'm very happy for this class and I hope you feel better.